Hello again there, I'm Imran Miller and this is Chem Crackers. And today we are going to be looking at calculating enthalpy change of reaction from bond enthalpy data. Okay, let's get started. So we have an example here, ammonia reacting with fluorine to form hydrogen fluoride and nitrogen fluoride. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about bond enthalpy first. So bond enthalpy is the energy required to break one mole of covalent bonds in the gaseous phase. Now remember that when we do a reaction like this one, all we are doing is that we are breaking the bonds within the reactant molecules and forming new ones to make up the products. Okay, so what that means is that um, the route that we are taking to get this done is two things. One, break the old bonds, the reactant molecules, and the two, form new bonds in the products. Right, so the reaction involves um, bond breaking and bond forming. So basically, your enthalpy change of reaction will be your bond breaking plus your bond forming the enthalpy change for bond forming. But the enthalpy change for bond forming is negative because we know that for, to break a bond, we have to add energy to the system. We have to, so that process is endothermic. But when you form bonds, right, it, uh, energy is released. So that is, that is exothermic. So this works out to be Delta H R theta is equal to delta H plus of bond breaking minus delta H bond forming. And that is so because we take bond enthalpy from a positive point of view in that we are talking about bond dissociation energy. So we are talking about bond enthalpy, we are defining as the energy required to break a bond. So if you form the bond, it's going to be negative. And so... This is your overall equation when you calculate enthalpy change of reaction from bond enthalpies. Now, one more thing before we go on. Bond enthalpies are actually averaged values. So for example, we see here an NH bond has a bond enthalpy of 388 kilojoules per mole. And what that means is that that 388 kilojoules per mole is derived by looking at the bond energy of NH in a number of different molecules, okay? So it is not specific to ammonia, for example. So when we calculate, when we calculate enthalpy change of reaction from bond enthalpy, it is really, it's really a, a decent estimate that we're making, but not an exact value for the, for the reaction that we're doing. For us to get a more accurate value of enthalpy change of reaction, we would have to do it by experiment, all right? So it's important to understand that when we use bond enthalpies, um, we're only estimating because they are average values. They are not specific to, this, to the reaction that you might be talking about. Okay, so let's use this to calculate the enthalpy change or to estimate the enthalpy change for this reaction. So first we need to work out what bonds are broken and then what bonds are formed. And if we calculate the energy change for both, then we can calculate the overall enthalpy change of reaction. Right, so you must write the equation showing the structural formula of each of the substances involved. So here we have NH3, 3FF, 3HF, and NF3. So then we need to decide, okay, we need to work out what bonds are broken and what bonds are formed. All right, so we're breaking three NH bonds. We're breaking three FF bonds. And we're, break, we're forming three HF bonds. And we're also forming three NF bonds. 
So all we need to do now is to fit this using the terms into the equation for the calculation of delta HR theta. Here's how we do that. So to calculate delta HR, we fit the energy terms for the bond energy into the equation. So NH has bond energy 388. We're breaking three moles of NH bonds. Uh, FF, bond energy 158. We're breaking three moles of that. And that comes to 1638. Formation of bonds. We're forming three moles of HF, HF bonds. 562 kilojoules per mole. Three times 562. And three NF bonds at 272 kilojoules each. So it's um, enthalpy change of bonds broken, minus bonds formed, and that comes to minus 864. And that is calculating enthalpy change of reaction from bond enthalpies. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. See you next time on Chem Crackers.